Hi, welcome to the walkthrough video for the Genius Posts extension. Two things before we get into the extension itself. One, this will work on any Chromium-based browser, any, any browser that works on the Chromium engine, which is going to be Chrome, Brave, Opera, Edge, and I think there are a few more, but those are the most popular ones, and this extension should work just fine on any of those browsers. Also, this works in Facebook, and you need to be using the classic version. If you're using the new version, no problem, but while you're using the extension, you want to go up to your blue bar at the top and click the little, uh, it's a triangle, upside down triangle, on the right hand side. And if you click that and scroll down, you'll see where it says here, switch to new Facebook, because I'm in classic. If you're in new, it'll say switch to classic Facebook. And click that and go back to classic just while you're running the extension. If you like the new one, after you've finished running the extension, you can certainly go back and do your thing there. So those are the two, two things to keep in mind up front. And I'm already logged in, but you'll get a, a login page the first time you go to use this. Just put the email address in that you registered with, and you've been sent a default password that you can use to get in. And then once you're there, click these three dots. By the way, this page will look a little differently. There will be a video here, but I'm recording that video now, so it's not made yet to go there. But by the time you get this, you'll see it there. Click these nine dots up here and change your password. Put in the, the current password, enter the new one, confirm the new one, submit, and you'll be good. That way you'll have your unique password. And first thing before we can do anything with posts, we have to create segments and groups. So let me show you a post and I'll give you a little feel for, for what these segments and groups are. Now, um, I'm on my page here and I created a, a thing on August 9th, that was three days ago. A post. Let's let's take this out. By the way, let me explain that just in case you. I, I, I'm making assumptions that you all understand this, and you may not. This is your, where your post is here, and you can click that and see some different things. And you might be able to see Genius posts there on some uh, on some profiles. It does, but usually you have to pull the post out by itself. So where this date is, and if it's recent, it might just say two hours or one hour, and that's how long ago it was. But wherever that date is, just click that, and it'll open that post in its own little window like this, okay, in its own on its own page. And I did this as a test, and I asked people to comment uh, VIP or hashtag test or anything else you want to post. Of course, our first person got funny, anything else you want to post. Now, I did run this extension just to do a test. I run it very quickly um, just a little bit ago, about less than an hour ago, I believe, um, just to make sure it works. And... What we found, let's get down to the bottom here. Hold on a second. We have 50 comments and 15 reactions. And let me just go down to the bottom of these comments real quick because I want to show you this. What had happened before I started doing the testing, you'll see people, it was two days old. Nobody had posted in a couple of days. Facebook sees engagement on posts and they keep it up there and they keep showing it to people and they keep it in front of people's eyes and they expand its audience to show it because it's engaging and that's what they're looking for. And then when people stop engaging, they stop showing it. Well, I ran this as a test for four minutes, okay? Uh, we'll go at the top. I think it was only two or three comments, and that was less than an hour ago. We got a new post, so it means Facebook started showing it to people again, and that's the purpose of this extension is to keep that engagement up so that you can keep people want, keep eyes on your posts. Then what we want to do, and you'll see here it replied to people, and uh, it gave different replies, and I'll show you where these are. This one was a... He had no keyword here, so you'll see what I mean by that shortly, and it gave that as the answer. And this person did put a keyword, and it gave that as the answer and told him they, we checked the PM. This person um, has the keyword in there, test, thanks, see the PM I sent you. And this person did VIP, so that did that. Okay, and you'll see these are a little bit different. Thank you, I sent you a PM. Thanks, see the PM I sent you. These are what the groups are. And, or these are what the different posts are. And then the groups are the actual message that we sent them. That's what the groups are going to be. And we're going to build that right now. So if that's not making sense yet, you'll see it in just a minute. Now, the post that we had that came in was after the second one. So the first person got a reply. The second one got a reply. All of a sudden, Facebook went, whoa, this is a relevant post again. Let me start showing it again. And we got another reply. So with that said, because it still probably doesn't make sense to you, we need to go in and build segments and groups. Um, a group is basically a bunch of segments strung together. So we need to build the segments first. 
okay? And I've already pre-built some. And you, let me show you what these are. Let me just go down here. So this one over here that says intro, if I hit edit, you'll see it has hello, greetings, hey there, and hi. So what I did was I actually went in into a text file and put, these are those four options, right? And then the next group, let's just go back. The next group is called thanks. So that's the next part of this sentence. And what we're doing is we're randomizing sentences. So when we build a group out of these segments, if we build a group with intro and then thanks and then explain one, then explain two, then more to come, then close out as these segments are here. If we build a group in that order, what it's going to do is it's going to go in and pick one item from the intro area, which has these four things to choose from, one item from the thanks area, which has these to choose from, one from here. So it starts randomizing this posts. And the reason for this is you don't want your posts all exactly the same and you don't want them too similar because what Facebook does is it says, wait a minute, this person has just sent the exact same post to 50 people. This is spam. And it's going to, now you're, you're going to go down in the algorithm. It's going to, it might even block you. It'll cut off your, your engagement. At the very least, it's going to stop showing your post to people because it thinks you're spamming them even though we're responding to something that they typed. So what we're doing in here is randomizing the responses. So um, I've already built these just to save time on the video here, but let me show you uh, how to do these. I'm going to delete this last closeout one, um, and you can just do that by hitting trash, and it'll go away. And then we'll add a segment just so you can watch how to do this, how I built these. So if you click add, we'll give it a title, and we'll just make it the same title as before. It was closeout. And we want to create message blocks. And we can add their first name. It'll draw that from Facebook. Of course, we don't need to do that. We're closing out. But let's um, let's go down to the closeout. So we can pick these, right? I'll just copy that in the interest of time. And if it's in the middle, put a space at the end so that the next sentence isn't budding right up to it, and then hit add. Okay, so that's the first thing it can choose from. This is going to be the second thing that we can choose from. Hit create another message. Add create another message and that's how you add these and then just put that in there add and we'll do one more this is just our closeout right I'm just thanking them and letting them know we appreciate them add and then hit save message segment so now we have these segments and I've done that for each of these and now what we need to do is create a group so you'll go to groups again I just clicked the circles up there and hit groups and I've already built one, but I'm going to delete that and rebuild it just so you can watch me do that. I built that so I could do this example earlier to make sure it worked when we got the re-engagement already. So it's the same thing. Just add a group and then add a title. This is the um, Genius Posts test video. Okay, that's what this is for. Um, and then we build a set. And you click Insert, and you can add things. You add your message segments. Um, and we can choose from which one we want to add in what order. We can insert static text. Maybe we don't want a different greeting. We want them all to say hi with a space. Okay, that's great. You put done. Now, all of them will have that. There won't be any randomization for that. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. And you can put keywords in. Okay, you can click your keywords and uh, whatever the keywords were that you put in this, in this post. We haven't gotten there yet. I'll show you what that means. That'll make sense momentarily. But all I'm going to do is build these we got the intro and then we've got the thanks these are all I built this sentence here right message segment next will be explain one next one will be explain two next one will be uh, whoops I was getting ready to say explain three more to come and then we have one more which is our close out message segment close out now once you have put these together and you've constructed this the way you want click add and they're good and you can build other other message sets in this group and then it'll randomly choose from those you can really get this randomized but we're not going to do that for purposes of this video I'm just going to save that group now I have segments and I have a group and you have to have those in first before you can start working with the post so I can just go out of that so now what we want to do we have this post here and we're on the page with just the post because we clicked that date click the three dots up here and you'll see a thing here, use genius posts. So just click that. Okay, and you're going to go to a page that looks like this. And if you forget what post this was, you can click view post. We'll give it a title. This is just the genius posts test. And give it a description. The post I created to test genius.
ingenious posts for the video. Okay? Now what we want to do is we want to set keywords. So if we go back to this video, if we don't remember, or back to the, the post, VIP or test were our keywords. So I'm going to put hashtag VIP, hashtag test. Now some people didn't use the hashtag, so we'll just do test and VIP, and I, I think a, that character string will come up. I don't need to put all four of these, but those are our keywords. And so now what happens is we need to give a reply, and the reply is going to be, um, actually that person doesn't have the keyword. This reply is going to be, what are we going to say when they type one of the keywords? What are we going to reply to them? So that said, thank you, I sent you a PM, right? So let's make that one of them. Okay, thank you, I sent you a PM. And then hit a comma, okay? Um, you want to hit a comma, and that will change what you've got there. So we did another one. It did randomize these, so I'm going to just use the ones I used before, and we'll just put them back in there. So we'll paste that, hit a comma. That becomes the next choice. I think there was one more that did. Yep, this person also, is that a different one? Nope, it showed, oh, I set you a PM. <laughs> Look, that's a typo. So you just click that if it's wrong. Thank you. I sent you a PM. And we'll do another one. Um, thanks for helping. Please check your PM for a message from me. And you can put as many as these want. I I'm not going to do any more of them because we just want to keep moving through here. Um, by the way, if you leave the keywords blank, then whatever you put in the reply list, it'll say to everyone whether they use a keyword or not. You can you can do, you don't have to do keywords. And then you can also enable fallback replies. Now, if you check this, see this person didn't put the keyword, okay? And we they got a different one. Thank you for participating. I appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this case. Now, if you don't do that, it's not going to send them a PM. You'll see in a moment we're PMing everyone that's done the keywords, or if it's blank, it'll PM everyone. It'll reply to everyone and PM them. If we check this, these the people that didn't use the keyword will still get the same PM. They'll just get a different response, okay, based on the fallback re reply. And if you leave that unchecked, then only the people that did the keywords and get a reply will get a, a, a private message, okay? So let's put a couple of these in. Um, Thanks. Uh, appreciate your help in testing this. And we'll do, let's do one more. Um, thanks for the help on this post. Just testing out some software. Okay, so it'll choose from those. And now what we want to do, so that's the replies. Those are the replies that will go on the post. Now we want to see what we're going to PM them. And we created that message group, Genius Posts Test Video, that basically says, Hi, thanks for helping me test. This was just a, a thing that we did to test out this software. I'm going to make a video tomorrow on it. If you're interested, hit me back up. Now what we've done is we've taken the conversation off of Facebook and we've put it into Messenger, where we can get a good conversation going with them. And you'll notice, let's close these, we will notice that... Um, what we've got here, okay, so that's there, and then we send a reply to them. There's no links here, right? There are no links here. Some people I see do things like this, and then they put the link in there. You want to send them a link, maybe, as part of your message. Well, now people don't have a reason to keep posting keywords and things like that. So, um, anyway, um, let's go back to this. Now what we want to do is randomize the time. Now, the software itself, the extension is going to add a random amount of time, uh, several minutes, usually, you know, a couple of minutes. And then we have to add a time on top of that. Now, if you're doing this normally, you don't want to send all these replies at once. I would send them four or five minutes apart, and this is in seconds. So five minutes will be 300 seconds. For the video, we're just going to do 60 because we want to show you this kind of quickly. And then we'll put a random delay. I'll just use 10 seconds for here, which means it'll be between 50 and 70, 10 under or 10 over. And then we can even say, hey, look, after seven replies, let's take a break for 11 minutes. And it'll do that so that it'll reply, let the algorithm pick up, get some responses. It doesn't look like you're just sitting there responding. And you can even do a little random delay after this. If we want the 11 minutes to, to vary by, I don't know, 35 seconds each way, then we get a little bit. And latest post engagement, are we starting at the end um, or are we just starting there? So at the beginning. So 
That's everything, and I can hit Save Genius Posts, then saved as a card. And what a card is, all right, if you click Genius Posts, there's a card. And you can view the post, which we've already got here. You can edit it if you want to make some changes. We can refresh it to see how many people have been responded to, or we can get rid of it if we're done. And you'll have bunches of cards here. If you're using this all over Facebook, you'll have cards, all kinds of cards. Um, so let's run the software. So what happens when we click this? We're going to get another screen, and it's going to get blue for a second. And it says, we're almost there, initializing Genius Post. Please don't close the page. So we won't. We will just sit and wait. And it, this doesn't take long. It's going down through the list and looking at the responses and seeing what it's already replied to and seeing what um, messages it's already done. See, so it already looked. You'll notice it already saw these people had already been replied to, right? So... Now it's going to go to the next one. This person has the keyword. They have text in there. So what it's doing is it's waiting for the time delay that we set up. And it's going to choose one of the random things that we put in there. And it's going to send that as a reply. And then it's going to go randomize the group, the message group, and it's going to send them a private message. Now this will take our 60 seconds. It'll also take the randomized delay of 10 seconds and, and add or subtract that or something within that range. And then it's also going to add a, a built-in time period that the extension waits a couple of minutes. So this is, this could be two or three or four minutes. So I'm going to um, just pause the video. Actually, I'm going to keep recording while I'm waiting, but I'll cut the video out so that you don't have to wait that whole time. And we'll come back in just a moment so you can watch this happen. Okay, my apologies. I had some technical issues uh, on my end on the recording side. But um, what you'll see is, I, I told you I'll be back while they were working on Joe, but um, we've gotten a bunch done. Look, Joe's got, thanks, see, see the PM I sent you. Matthew had a VIP, thanks, see the PM I sent you. This one had a, uh, the keyword also, thanks for helping, please check your PM for a message from me. VIP, thank you, I sent you a PM. So you see they're, they're choosing from those ones that we did. Okay, they all put the, the keyword in there, so they're all the same. And then each of these people also got a message from me so let's pick let's pick uh, one person here and let's just go uh, to where they are and actually he just messaged me it looks like so we'll click his message yep see and hey there thank you for the post comment so this is the message that it sent out that we just built hey there thank you for the post comment that post was created to test out my software and see he's responded so now Facebook's not only seeing that uh, the post is getting engagement, they're seeing that people are talking to me. And I could have put a link in there and sent them off and captured email or sent them to a video or done, you know, whatever I wanted to do. But uh, for purposes of engagement in Facebook, this is fantastic because now we're getting more engagement in, let's go back to there, we're getting more engagement in uh, the post itself and we're getting engagement off in Messenger where those conversations should be happening and Facebook sees all of that. So... Um, that's the message that we had there. So that's basically it, okay? And this is still running. We're up to 11. There are 46 total that it needs to do. And I can hit this and stop, and sometimes it'll close the window, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to let this run in the background. And then that's what you want to do. Let this run in the background, and then you can go into a new window or a new tab and go about your business and engage on Facebook or do, you know, different things that you want to do and, and all of that. Uh, if you have any questions... Uh, there's a support tab down here on the on this page, actually on all of the pages here in Genius Posts. Um, there's a Facebook group that we have for for Genius Posts users. So come on in and join us and, and chat with other users and help each other out, share great experiences and things that are happening. If something's uh, not working, let us know that too. Um, and if you need support, just click the support icon. It'll take you out to the help desk and you can put in a ticket uh, or see other training videos. And if you if you need help, we're more than happy to help you with it. So that is it. That has been Genius Posts, and we thank you very much for taking the time to go through this and checking out our software.